Flint's mayor releases a bold new plan to deal with the city's water crisis. That's just one new development that we're tracking right now. Also, attorney Jeffrey Figer has filed a $100 million lawsuit against McLaren Hospital and employees of the Department of Environmental Quality. The suit is on behalf of four Genesee County residents who claim they contracted Legionnaire's disease at the hospital. One of those people died. And this past hour, the EPA just offered its own update on the situation in Flint. Hank Winchester, of course, is in Flint. He has heard from the mayor and the EPA. Hank? And Steve, a very busy day here in Flint. What's interesting about the press conference with the mayor is today the governor was not by her side. And today was the day that she made a big announcement saying she can't wait for Lansing anymore. Flint's mayor says she is moving forward with a plan to protect the people here in her community. This must happen immediately. That's what we're what I'm asking for. Flint's mayor moving forward with or without the governor on board. The mayor saying the people of Flint can't wait, and that's why she's putting together her own team and plan to remove some of Flint's most dangerous pipes. To start, we must remove and replace lead pipes immediately. And we want to start with the highest risk homes of kids under six and pregnant women. The mayor saying it will be costly, it will take time. She's hoping donations and funding could cover the enormous bill. Lansing's mayor on hand, his city recently replacing many lead pipes, but the cost there was put on the customer. It was paid for over a period of 10 years uh, by rate increases at the Board of Water and Light. And uh, by doing it over and over again, basically uh, early on, our people perfected um, some uh, techniques that actually are little known at this point, but uh, save a lot of time and a lot of money. Also today, Dr. Mona meeting up with EPA Administrator McCarthy. The administrator taking a close look at what's happening here and what steps need to be taken to help those in Flint. These are the experts that I brought with me today um, and with Dr. Mona to show people in Flint in this city, the commitment of EPA and across the federal family to bring the resources we need to address the serious problems that we are facing. In regards to the mayor's plan, unclear when the work would actually get underway or how they would actually raise all of the money needed. A new tonight at 6 o'clock, I want you to stay tuned for a Help Me Hank special report. Unfortunately, we are hearing about scammers taking advantage not only of those living here in Flint, but also Metro Detroiters who are doing their part to try to help those in this community. We sat down with the Genesee County prosecutor. He has information about these scams that are taking place right now. We'll see you back here live tonight at 6 o'clock. We're live here in downtown Flint. Hank Winchester, help me, Hank. Back to you. Boy, there are always people ready to take advantage, aren't there? Hank, is the supply of fresh bottled water still coming into the city? It is, Steve, a huge truckload just making its way in this morning. Of course, we're still accepting donations at any art van location. That's been making its way to Catholic Charities. Uh, they've been getting it out to those who need it, and the need, unfortunately, is still there. Yeah, well, there are many good people stepping up to help out here. Thanks, Hank. Uh, we have created a special section at clickondetroit.com with every new development in the Flint water crisis. You can find a link right on the homepage.